All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I wound up playing a little too much Payday yesterday. So, uh, well, I went to bed like for two a.m. Uh, yeah, I mean, now that I've been playing Drug Dealer Simulator, but there's not a lot of content because obviously the game's too new. Um, you know, just just wanted to, you know, get my crime fix on. So I was just playing Payday. Um, with that being said, it was interesting to see that someone, of course the assholes at Screen Rat would just trash the game, even though most people actually liked the game. Uh, in fact, let's see, uh, Drug Dealer Simulator, that is. Uh, technically he was correct in that there's no content, but he doesn't take into account that there's, like, the guy's a small company, so. Uh, let's see, maybe they're on, they should be on Metacritic. Uh, that means I have to submit my game to Metacritic eventually. So, so this is why fake news terrorism is on the way down. People, the people actually like the game more, but you know the critics are just like bigger assholes. But they didn't go too hard with their fake, um, their fake news terrorism. Hmm. Should have drank more water before um, before I started uh, pouring this in. So, but yeah, that's a pretty decent score. Obviously, the, a much better score I think would be uh, seven point five to eight because then it'll be upgraded to green. All right. Oh, so there was a critic that actually. Oh, so okay. So this isn't actually that bad. So what the hell? So the guy who gave it a negative. Yeah, so this was a screen rat asshole, because he just wants to be an asshole. <clears throat> These guys were much nicer, and then green is 75. Uh, that's actually pretty cool, and then you have a lot of people here. Uh, this, that's in Russian, so I can't really read this. So this is actually generally pretty fair. I still think the meta score should still be higher, but... Um, let me see, when you go on Steam for this... Uh, let's see, Charles, very details, credits, uh, let me see, Drug Dealer Simulator, because this is good, because I'm going to be submitting my game eventually to all this other shit, too. <clears throat> so over here it says Steam is already 9 out of 10. Yeah, very positive. So, so it's like, so what I like is at least everyone, everyone is very different. So, and of course Steam, this is the most important part anyway. Yeah, see, I don't like that it, the Metacritic score is the use the critic scores. That gives that gives these fucking these fucking fake news terrorist assholes, especially people like Screen Rat, like you know, way too much fucking power. Um, you know, and on top of that, it doesn't report the actual user score. The user score is way more important. <clears throat> so you know. Um, I don't know, let's see, yeah, I don't think you're allowed, yeah, I think Steam just automatically uses the critic score, not the user score, which is fucking bullshit, uh, but, you know, what, what are you gonna do, right? Because, <clears throat> you know, there's, there's gonna be like an 80% chance that it's all gonna get a zero score when they actually find out my game is, you know, pr 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 pretty Christian, so, but that, that's just how it goes. Bitcoin is uh, at seventeen. Oh, that's right. That's another. Th that's a, that's also another opportunity too. Like you know, uh, when I create my own little thing, yeah, I'm gonna import the user score, or I could also import the critic score. So I could give the developer a choice of which Metacritic score they want to use. But they do have to display one, right? I guess I could also make it so that they don't have to display it as well. Um, but uh, the thing is, I still want to design primarily for the customer, so it is kind of important to, you know, give the developer more options, but not too many options. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of things you can do, all right? But I'll obviously, work, I'll obviously think more on that uh, when the time actually comes. But yeah, definitely an opportunity there. Uh, but yeah, I really don't like that. Like you could, they, they give. This is why fake news terrorism is such a problem. They give too much fucking power to these people when they don't deserve it. All right, anyway, I woke up late, obviously. Uh, well, I woke up at 9.40, technically, because that's just my alarm clock. Uh, but, again, I mean, I got an okay amount of sleep. I still want another hour or two, but... 
uh, I didn't do any research at all. I just kind of looked real quick and just saw that crypto was up. Markets, let's see. Really, they look neutral. So let's see what happens. Bitcoin interest for this week has been released. It's at 17, so it's actually going up, which is good. Uh, Bitcoin Dons is at 66.5%. Toy Farm volume is still pretty modest at 153.3 billion. Uh, so that, that basically tells me that a lot of the rich people are kind of just not doing anything. So they've already sold some positions, they're already holding a lot. So they're just simply waiting, uh, which is simply, which is actually what I would be doing. All right. Uh, I mean, I made the right call by buying Bitcoin, what, yesterday or two nights ago? I already forgot. Um, yeah, it was actually two days ago because today is Wednesday. So, you know, uh, so I got, so yeah, I'm already making money. All right. However, it wasn't to invest. It was so I could use it. All right. Because, you know, I got to pay the crux fee. Um, and yeah, Pitch continues to work on the uh, fork. He's actually trying out different coins, uh, but he will find a. Um, but he definitely uh, says we're definitely going to have a swap that's going to be ready this this month. He just has to find the right one. Uh, yeah, let's leave it at that. Um, but yeah, ninety. He's telling me that ninety percent of all the new proof of stake coins nowadays are these stupid master node coins. They're so master node is just so annoying. I hate that people do that. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Anyway, Bitcoin, 92.30, so it's up a nice amount. Uh, Litecoin's at 47.14, I, I think it's about right. Uh, Doggy coin, 133, 13.2 million market cap, so it's doing all right. Uh, Hive. Oh, the Hive drop in price? Oh, it's actually going down a little. Thirty-nine point fifty-eight cents. Well, that kind of sucks. Well, I, so that means I can buy more Hive because I because I, I'm not buying Steam anymore because that shit's decentral. Uh, that shit is centralized. Steam is at eighteen cents of essentially. <coughs> All right, let's see. <coughs> hmm. So what's going on here? Uh, so markets look pretty neutral. Uh, Rimmel, yeah. So markets are basically neutral. Stocks add. To gains reopening strategy, I so okay, so they're finally doing more reopening stuff. I'll take a look at that. I'm gonna assume there's not much here. Of course, I can't pause the fucking autoplay bullshit. So it's just gonna drain all my fucking uh, bandwidth. There we go. Uh, stock. All right, clip that. A lot of retail will likely go away permanently, according to Gwen Hutchins on retail to coronavirus. I mean, technically that's kind of true, but the real re. I mean, like Jeff Bezos said, the future is happening. So, like physical brick and mortar shit just doesn't work. Like even Jeff Bezos has considered actually creating Amazon physical stores. Uh, he hasn't done it yet because obviously it's kind of retarded to do so uh, for the time being. Uh. Not only will the competition be fierce, right? They have to compete against Target or whatever, but the profit margin is just not that good. But it's probably useful for, say, being like something like Costco, right? But you need a lot of land. You need, like, you need a bunch of stuff, right? And I'm sure Amazon's well suited for that, but it's like, you know, we're not going to make much profit. What's the point of it, All right? But it's something he keeps an eye on. So, uh, yeah, retail is just. Just like uh, the, only, the only reason why you would have want some retail is like it's two a.m. in the morning. I want to go out and, and I still want to buy something. Yeah, it's gonna go to like a pharmacy or something. There's a new tablet hybrid by Microsoft. Very good. Uber slashes thirty seven hundred jobs. Downturn bites. Hmm. Oh yeah, because no one's using uh, driving. GM shares move higher after surprise beat on expectations. Las Vegas you see it. Prepare properly, but no definitive dates. Okay. Oh, that's an ad. My dark claimed me as a dependent 2019. Is it too late to receive a stimulus? Oh, that's funny. Coronavirus caused spike of homeowners and forbearance surges on. Yeah, I mean, we already covered that yesterday. Uh, what about the kind of step more easy with our default on its debts? Uh, he's probably right about this, but uh, fuck Warren Buffett. Everything you need to know about coronavirus. Did he? Yeah. Pelosi signals support for massive new payroll subsidies as small business loan fund nears blah, 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 blah. Okay, so yeah, the thing's just running out of money. Yeah, we really need to reopen this. Uh, 56. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to assume today's a neutral day, but it could be uh, up. So I'll just take, I'll just see. 
Uh, JMC coins at six to seven or eight, right? So I think this should be accurate, right? So it's, you know, doing all right. 404 coin is now three to four. So a lot of people are really, uh, not a lot. Yeah, some people are big holders are really panicking about the uh, 404 coin swap. It's either that or they just see that, like, they already know what the bell is going to be after. Like, I thought it was going to be somewhere around 440 or 200. Mitch says it should be 500 to 1,000. Satoshi is a big coin. Uh, I don't know. They're, it's a little different from, say, 2x2 two two coin because 404 coins are already quite well established. So, and then supply is going to obviously jack up the price a lot. So, uh, all I know is, I mean, I, I mean, 200 is not enough for me, but uh, I, uh, well, A, I have to take it, all right? And B, yeah, I mean, I could, I could get, I could live off of that, all right? You know, because I just want 404 coin to go back to being like a solid earner again. And that's what this change is going to do. And then uh, we'll do the same with JMC coin, and that'll be a solid 200% APR uh, solid earner as well. And then, yeah, you know, we'll have our trifecta back. And then compound coin will always do what it always does. Two by two coin was actually up to 72, 73, but looks like there's some action going on. So 69 is 74. So very high 60s, low 70s. So two by two is going to be solid for a long time. Uh, uh, compound coin, 5,000 to 5,600. So it's actually pretty close to what it should be. So uh, yeah, no changes there. Bitcoin, okay, I don't care. Uh, Hyper Ledger makes inroads. Bitcoin's heart worn bar one. What? This headline, what? Bitcoin can, this headline is just, just trying to keyword stuff. Bitcoin can boost portfolio returns even if bought at all time. Huh? Uh, boost portfolio returns. Uh, Bitfinex derivatives launches Bitcoin dimes, perpetual swaps, uh, I guess. Uh... Bitcoin outperformed Google, Facebook, Apple in quarter one of this year. Oh, wow. Hmm. John Cat thinks he saw Bitcoin's greatest mystery. Who is the... Oh, okay, I don't care. Bitcoin... Besides, what does he care? He's, he recently shitted on Bitcoin a couple months back. Bitcoin helmet can bring way more money back to North America. Yeah. Over leveraged Chinese miners risks being washed out Bitcoin Tommy next week. North America is a really how do you how do you leverage over leverage on something like Bitcoin? How do you over leverage on Bitcoin mining? <clears throat> Unless they're talking about taking out loans to buy Bitcoin mining equipment. So maybe this one round ready good yeah blah blah blah. Galaxy, no, don't care about him, don't care about Ripple. Uh, for a major drop before rise to 100k. We already looked at this before a couple days ago, or maybe it was last Friday's video. I know I just did it in the pre previous couple videos ago. Actually, when did I do that video? Uh, KFC, it might have been this one, the KFC one. Uh, but yeah, I wrote it in the description. But yeah, there was always a drop right after Bitcoin held, and it was very brief and very fast, but doesn't show up in the charts. So we don't have to go over that. We already went over that already. Bitcoin, perfect store, da, 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 XRP, shilling, China's big, China's big blockchain leader said digital currency on track to reconstruct global currency system. Uh, yeah, especially now that, um, especially now that uh, America is going to probably do some sort of retaliation, a digital currency would be a pretty good counter to that. I didn't actually think of that. PewDiePie quits D Live will live stream back on YouTube. I actually want to read about this because um, Nick Fuentes came on his own website, and I'm not. It's not entirely clear if you could still get his live stream stuff that he normally does for free, and you have to sign up to his website to do it. So that's actually kind of an issue because because he streams on D Live. So what I'm basically looking at is, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of things around it, right? Cultural war, politics, you know, Christianity, all that stuff. But fundamentally, I'm looking like I'm looking at, hey, I don't want you to be ceding territory either. Uh, if you make it exclusive and you have to pay five bucks a month for it, that's actually a problem because new people aren't going to pay for that. <laughs> you know, there's a reason why, like all my games are going to be like free to play. Like, there's a real reason for that. Um, you know, and on top of that, alternative technology is like again it comes back it comes to a more fundamental question right and i asked this before on stream and i still have not actually i asked on twitter and no one responded of course uh, but this is very important what is the benefit of free speech what is the benefit of censorship you know there is an actual huge set of benefits for censorship 
All right. And um, I mean, ultimately, what I've come to realize is we're all for censorship, you know, you and me. And if you say, well, that's not true, and I ask you, then I'll just ask you a simple question. Have you ever blocked anyone? Specifically blocked, not mute. Though mute could count, but block specifically. Have you ever blocked anyone on Twitter or Facebook or whatever social platform for whatever reason, right? Well, guess what? You're for censorship. You know why? Because if everyone in the world blocks that person or account, that person will no longer have access to any content. That's exactly what Silicon Valley is doing. Right. All of them collectively agreed to block controversial ideas in conservatives and Christians. Well, now all of a sudden censorship. But but at a fundamental individual basis, we're all for fucking censorship. And that's the reason why we have censorship. Right. So until we as individuals change. Right. You know, and then try to address the benefits of censorship and try to say, oh, but here's free speech and how. It can ad, ad, uh, address the benefits of because it's not just about negativity. It's also about positive, positive reinforcement. People like censorship. They may not admit it, right? But again, you're dealing with me. I can see through everything. All right, I'm not. You know, it's like you know, I, I, you know, God gave me vision, so uh, you can't bullshit. All right, so uh, that's ultimately what it comes down to, and ultimately that's the main problem with alternative technology. Now, with that being said, I'm glad it's there because it acts as a pseudo check against big tech platforms. Uh, but until I mean, until you actually get something like BitChute's live streaming that's 100% decentralized and is easy to use and modify the code, etc. Uh, centralization is pretty much where it's always going to be. And even if BitChute comes out with that, I don't know. Um, you know, having something centralized is kind of nice because, yeah, people are going to spam your shit, which means you have to agree to some form of censorship, right? You know, if I play my Albion online game, right, you know, they recently doubled their population. Uh, they probably, they should be smart enough to know it's because of coronavirus and not of their stupid update, though they try and give credit to their update. That's pretty dangerous. Uh, right, because you see, how it goes straight up after lockdown. Like this is clearly coronavirus boost, not their update. Because they came up with their update around January, and it's like kind of was shitty, right? And make it's interfering with my gameplay because all the prices in game are so expensive. Uh, but anyway, uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah. But in Albion, right, if people are spamming a bunch of stupid stuff in chat and I can't really close chat, right, well, guess what? I'm going to be like, yeah, but just ban those accounts because they're spamming the chat. I can't I can't do my basic functions, you know, so that's censorship, right? You know, like, and then we just come up with stupid excuses to justify it's like, oh, private, private company, oh, free, uh, uh, they can do whatever they want. Well, yeah, it's just something stupid. Or, oh, it's concerned harassment, it's spam. Right? It's like, whatever. It's like, it's, it's censorship, okay? All right, just just call it for what it fucking is, all right? Don't don't try and say it's like, oh, it's not censorship, it's harassment. It's like, you should, it's like, fuck you, you know? It's like, you know, stop lying, all right? Stop lying. That's why. That's why we have problems, and well, that's why a lot of you might have problems in life, because you're exposed to so many lies. But you also have to be careful not to lie to yourself too, and really just be honest about what you're doing. Then once you admit and honest about it, you don't judge yourself, right? JLP, JLP style. You're like, yeah, well, all right. I mean, it is what it is. So you know, what do we do, right? You know. So and that's all that it is. You know, like a lot of your problems would just be solved if you were completely honest with no judgment about it. It's like, oh, okay. Well, I have one leg, you know, it's like, ah, oh, it sucks, but, you know, oh, well, at least I'm alive, right? So I'll have to move on with just one leg, <laughs> right? You know, as a simple example. And then you'll actually find a life gets, like, you ever notice, like, some, some people who, like, are really disabled, like, for some reason, they're, like, the most positive people in the world. I think that's kind of, like, what this, what I'm referring to, right? Like when you're truly honest with yourself and you just accept things for the way they are. But until, but if you start like going crazy and lying to yourself, then that's when you get your problems. Uh, so, oh yeah, with that being said, I probably do want to open this. Um, venture capitalists spent millions on Treasury Prime's mission to eradicate. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I really don't want to.
want to read this guy's article. I guess we'll see what this is. Uh, crypto uh, ripple face the law howling on very yeah, blah blah blah. All right, Trump is 50 to 44 cents. So let's see anything new. Uh, but house is missing. Eh? Our latest opt ed. Uh, keep the house for me. I don't know. People. Wait, what is this talking about? White House Coronavirus Task Force headed by Mike Pence. Da -da -da, Jenny produced in. Okay, we're helping our countries. That are, that are likewise, have been left little. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to burp, but nothing wants to come out. Gloves, gowns, etc. are now plentiful. The last four givers health guys calls are completely strong. Because of the success of the task force, and definitely with its focus on safety, and we met a add or subtract people. Uh, the keyword subtract to it as a product will also be very focused on vaccines and therapeutics. Okay, that's fine. I've got some Trump bashers. For Casa Christophe, their fake news terrorist pro, here is the newest chart and their great testing miracle compared to our countries. Yeah, we've been going crazy. Yeah, have you have you noticed that after hammering Trump about not um, not doing enough testing, all of a sudden you're doing really well, and then there's a lot. Peter Weller is doing the voice for Rohan in the game. Oh, oh, oh they're playing uh, RoboCop in Mortal Kombat. That's actually pretty awesome. And the new story, clearly, Rogue has a guest character on May 26. Uh, I don't like IGN. Is there somebody who, is there a fake news terrorist that I don't like? Uh, I guess we could do Nintendo of America. Oh my god, this is... Uh... Uh, well, I like GameSpot, but apparently they also engage in fake news terrorism. So here's the problem. Where are the fucking right wing people? All right, I get. Uh, I guess we'll just go with. Let's see. This is a really. That's a real. That's a really good one. All right. I guess we'll just give it to fucking Gamespot. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. And Peter Weller. I know that name. Peter Weller. Did he play? Did he voice the original Murphy? Oh, it's that guy. Wait, he was Murphy from RoboCop? Oh, wow, he really was the original. Oh, yeah, he was the original RoboCop. Oh, I thought he was so fucking familiar when I saw him. He also plays the, uh, the corrupt admiral in the new Star Trek. Oh, man, I didn't know that. Oh, wow. I didn't realize. It was actually him. Uh, I never made the connection. I thought, that guy looks so familiar. But who the fuck is he? <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, well, I was going to say, like, well, he's an old guy. You know, actors just don't need some work. But, I mean, he was in Star Trek. So, um, he probably has plenty of money. <laughs> but it's pretty cool that he came back for this. right? Plus, I'm pretty sure they're paying him a good chunk of change, too. For the crowd to, oh, I read that. Um, I don't know. I'm mostly seeing Trump just in re-election mode for the most part. Okay. Mary um, Atlanta Gray said, did he great gut feel of what time Trump has come all the way home? He's ready to beat Stephen Colbert. Uh, actually, yeah, that's true. I, actually, I, oh, wait, Greg Gutfield? Uh, I'll just give the like. I don't like uh, uh, <clears> that. <throat> Uh, let's call it an AP. Uh, well, I say should not be belly out, born on a poor. Okay, all right. I'm just looking for uh, reopening stuff. Uh, coronavirus briefing. Uh, thank you, nurses. Kagane, Kafia, Shine, Spire. Uh, the farm cancer gave him the N95 has conferred a something. Oh, that guy. Uh, there's no doubt for your human life or whatever you want safe to do so. So, how soon you we do how fast if it goes now? Do your part to reduce the spread. <clears throat> so, Cuomo, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Well, what's nice is New York wasn't going to vote for Trump anyway, so. This winds up just uh, hurting the Democrats and liberals more. Uh, you must wear a mask or a face covering. Uh, don't shake hand, avoid your contact, and the role of play, but you chose to do wear a mask. Uh, here we go, we have the we have to build back our education better. We'll work with the Gates Foundation to develop a blueprint to do this. Yeah. <clears throat> Which basically means, um, yeah, they're coming for your kids. <laughs> All right. Uh, Venture capital spent millions of Treasury Prime's mission to modernize the banks. Uh, ah, that's an okay thing. Ah, do, 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 do. You know, to be honest, I really just don't want to re read this shit. Uh, tells us the company's rate increased by forty percent. What do they actually do? <clears throat> Uh, okay, so it looks like they're trying to partner with businesses in the financial industry to give them crypto tech, currency tech, and make it easy to integrate. And then they're also going to work with the central banks to make crypto to fiat more easy, I guess. Uh, that's what I'm, okay, that's fine. Oh, wait, this is way better thumbnail. PewDiePie quits DLive. Go back to YouTube. YouTube's biggest independent, better known as PewDiePie is leaving it. Uh, okay, uh, he says his return to live streaming exclusively on YouTube is the right fit given his long history as a tiger. He has become a home for a decade now. Uh, live streaming is something I've been focusing on a lot in 2020. Okay, um, according to DApp, DLive has 5 million monthly users and more than 80,000 active broadcast. Holy shit, DLive has that many people? Really? It still seems like such a small, small community. <clears throat> oh, and that's it. He hasn't really said anything. Hmm. Ah, it doesn't actually say why. Um, five million monthly users, 80,000 content creators. Huh. I don't know. I, I don't see any uh, any real growth though. Let's see. Oh, I reopened that. Uh, there's no thumbnail, so we're probably gonna use this for a thumbnail. Also, it looks a lot similar to the Riot Games uh, picture too. Stocks added the gains. Was a da 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 da. da uh, possibility of relaxing more stay-at-home bullshit. Crude oil prices fell for the first time in six. I don't care about oil. Uh, two percent lower Disney stock uh, across the board. Uh, let's see, the latest death toll was two thirty as of yesterday's count, roughly flat. Here in San Jose, guys said the state's lockdown will begin loosening on Friday, joining another number of states slowly starting to kick. Okay, so even Gavin Newsom's reopening California. <clears throat> Other states have already begun reopening: Georgia, Florida, and Texas. Okay. Meanwhile, more signs of stress emerge from a lot. Norwegian cruise lines, we don't care. People should not be taking cruises. I never understood the uh, the the, th uh, the appeal of taking cruises. Even with the old people will not pretending like they had in the past, some jobs will not come back. Some companies, right? It's gone on full employment. Uh, they kind of showing our every standing factory. We should see how. Uh, boy, was it this? Is it. Uh, whenever a stock drops, you can't fake unemployment. When people stop buying, the companies are out of business. Um, just, well, I don't think they've been cooking the numbers recently. They've actually been reporting it. Plus, they have an incentive to report because it hurts Trump. So that's how that's how I know the um, unemployment numbers are probably accurate for now. Uh, <clears throat> in the Netherlands, in most shops, most of them, the problem is nobody shop because everyone is scared of reading all the signs they put up when you ask you to walk in the store. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, okay, so I don't know, just. Bunch of weird comment idiots. So California may begin limiting opening this week. There's literally nothing else. Gavin Newsom said some retail businesses in California can begin opening early as this week if data shows coronavirus is get improving. Hmm. Not much, not much. So uh, I don't know. Today's just a neutral day. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, we're just going to have to see, because people, 
I mean, what's really going on, right? I mean, yeah, things are reopening, but they're just kind of... Excuse me. Like I said, data's coming in. Uh, this is actually fundamentally where the markets deserve to be at, because we have to reopen. And uh, let's say let's say the stock market wanted to go to 27,000. Well, hmm. I'm trying to force out this burp, but nothing wants to come out. It's so frustrating. Because obviously, I want to avoid getting hiccups for an hour. Uh, that being said, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So the thing is, the country still has to reopen. We technically have not done that yet, right? You know, we're still uh, we're still kind of just like we are planning to reopen. We are planning to reopen. We are intending. It's, it's like, yeah, we know the intent, which is good, but can we actually do it? Right? We haven't done. We haven't gotten to the we are doing it part yet. So uh, it looks like we're getting closer, though. So it's just going to be an annoying little grind. Uh, and I already did my spiel about the alt tech stuff, so it's going to remain to be seen. I mean, again, and that's the other thing too. Alt tech just does not have a big enough uh, audience. Because even if you had pure free speech, well, we still have freedom of association. So advertisers and big, big markets, they're not going to want to be on a stream where you're constantly spamming the N word. Right. So again, it goes back to why people want censorship. Again, people have to be honest about it. Right. You know, so but people are not. So that's why we're just going to have this problem. Right. That's actually and that's also And then and then I don't know, like, let's see. What uh, let me take a look. Hmm. I really want this taco bowl. It's really tasty. Uh, actually, we could actually just go to his website. So, I don't know. He It doesn't seem very clear at all. Uh, oh, okay. So he's actually... Yeah. It doesn't seem clear at all if his live streams are now free. So that's kind of like the thing, you know. So that's actually... And, he, and he's been telling people, don't go to DLive. So... I don't know. Like, if he goes basically the same thing, same route as Infowars, and actually not Infowars, but specifically Owen Benjamin, he's gonna wind up becoming like Owen Benjamin, and then no one's gonna know who he is. All right. So, uh, yeah, like that, uh, which is a real problem because the Groypers really have a real chance to win and change things. But if if, if he starts going exclusive, it's over over anyway if you like what you saw read or heard hit the like button the follow button or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from or on my youtubes at youtube.com forward slash jmc radio make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue uh growing this channel uh because why not anyway i'm done for the day uh i mean yeah i mean today's a uh a neutral day all right you know, I still haven't seen any concrete reopenings, right? But, you know, people are uh, going to do, uh, have to do it at some point. So we're just waiting on that. You know, crypto is doing what it normally does. It's going up. So, yeah, all is good. And even when I don't want to invest, right, but I have to buy crypto, I still call it correctly. So, you know, Bitcoin's up. However, if there's a big drop, then, you know, oh, well. But, you know. As long as uh, Mitch can pump out that wallet, he's pretty. He's one hundred percent confident that he will. It's just a matter of time, uh, as he because because uh, we're going to try to fork mouse coin. But he didn't g give me specifics about what was wrong with it. But he can't use it, so we're tr so he's going back to pure coin and black coin. Problem, but again, the problem is most coin proof of stake coins that come out now they're all master uh, they're all master node f word coins, uh, and it's just very annoying. So yeah well in the meantime just chill uh just just simply wait it out you know you know uh, in my case i like video games i got my computer programming oh yeah i didn't even mention my computer programming yeah it actually went pretty well yesterday i got it to work um uh there was a bug though so i had to f use a ghetto workaround let me see yeah uh i mean this template module is not perfect but at least it's working right so the bug is when I hover over the icon, it gives you the wrong stats. Like, uh, it has to. It probably has the way to do with the way it's deriving stats from the towers that are not built yet. Uh, but when you select the tower, it actually does display the correct stats. So what I had to do eventually, after spent a couple hours working on it, 
was I just had to hit the space bar and skip a line because I can't I manually type in the stats. So uh, it's it's a really ghetto solution, but it, but it works. Actually, I don't care. I'm actually surprised. People actually do look at these screenshots, even though I don't actually... Um, even though I don't actually say anything with this. So, but it's pretty cool. And, it, and there's, yeah, there's a thing on the left side called the audio manager. Like this toolkit is really well done, even with the problems it has. Uh, I just attached the music. Uh, as so like, as soon as you play the game, it just starts up. I mean, it's like, oh, it's like a real, it is a real game. It's, it's so cool. Uh, there was also an enemy that attacks towers directly. But the problem is as soon as it hits the, uh, the, th um, the thing that makes you t take damage, like the thing you're supposed to guard in tower defense, it crashes the thing because the because the co routine for turret aiming is screwing it up. So the guy didn't. But that just tells me that oh, most people don't use that. So in my case, what I'm going to do is because I want to try and make it as different as possible because there's only so much you can do with a tower defense game. So I found that if I there's an AOE damage function that seems to work. So I'm just going to make it so that everybody so enemies will just do AOE damage to all your turrets. And you have to actually repair shit. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and then I'm also thinking, I, as, as much as I want to go crazy with this game... Actually, let's go back up here. Actually, that's too small. As crazy as I want to go with this game and add more shit, the problem is if I design for mobile, uh, that's actually going to be a problem because how, how do they navigate all that? And I need to be on mobile. So... Uh, it's uh, it's going gonna, gonna to be quite... It's going to be quite a thing. All right? I'm... I, I mean, I could consider hiring someone to just convert my game to mobile and just see what they come up with. But of course, that means handing them the entire source code too. So I don't know. Uh, well, well, I'll, I'll have to worry about it uh, uh, sometime later. Anyway, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, again, wait it out. Enjoy the bull run that's coming because it's obviously here. Right, you know, everything wants to go back up, right? But of course, the Democrats want to keep everything shut down. So, you know, the and all the idiots that support the shutdown are contributing to it. So, all right, you know, I mean, the the right is definitely taking a lot of damage for sure, uh, but the left is taking way more damage. So, but they, but interestingly enough, a lot of liberals seem to be tolerating this. At least enough of them are. So, but at some point, they will break. So, we'll see how it goes. Thanks. See you all tomorrow. Johnson Chan, JMC coin, 404 coin, and where is our thumbnail? Uh, X, X, there we go. And uh, yeah, everyone's going back to the centralized platforms because you need the growth. That, that, that's it, you know. Uh, and again, the more fundamental question is, what is the benefit of censorship, all right? And how can free speech uh, alleviate those benefits? Because right now, the benefits of free speech attack the benefits of censorship. That's why people don't want free speech. And people on the right, especially right now, because they're free speech warriors, they, they, they're not even aware that this is a problem. So, all right. And uh, that kind of sucks, because I would like to be able to say the F word, all the F words again, and not suffer consequences. That's all that I ask. But, I don't know, I guess we'll see how it goes.